Hey guys and welcome back on my YouTube channel, it's your boy Troll. In today's video, I'm gonna answer a comment. So for those who don't know, we are back. Troll is back, Troll is in the place. So I had a comment from you guys. Uh, well, what was the comment already? Uh, boom. Hi man, how do you clear to TOA hard in 10 days? Can you show the mobs and runes you used for? Thanks, bro. I got you. Anyway, let's jump into the video and I will show you how I did it. Okay, so let's jump into the game. Uh, as I mentioned in my previous videos, if you haven't watched it, make sure to check it out. Uh, according to the plan, I am farming the fire beast right now. I am crucially needing i uh, basically i need the fight runes for my bg4 and then bg5 i uh, already have all the monsters built ready to go i just need the runes and obviously when you start the game you don't have any right but anyway that's not the purpose of this video the video, the question is how did i finish oh, i need to spend my fights so how did i finish toa hard in well it was what nine days because right now we are 11 days but i finish it this weekend no monday I, I finished it on monday so yeah it was basically nine, nine days from the start i finished toa hard and the question is how did you do it so when it comes to to trial of ascension normal uh to be quite honest the the mobs you're gonna use uh is whatever you can get from the game where the where the heal you can fa fusion him easy to get the dryad is literally a quest the beginner quest they ask you to fusion a dryad so you will get her very quickly very easy the more challenging part will be veromos what's his name yeah veromos veromos as well a fusion then i also had the cowgirl uh that's a sd secret dungeon you just need to farm it uh, also a tip for those who don't know because I didn't know, I asked my guild and they actually answered. If you go into the channel 1050, this is basically the secret uh, dungeon channel. Uh, as you can see, I just enter boom, uh, Inugami. So if you're missing a secret dungeon, I don't know, Inugami, Jensen, the cowgirl, etc, etc. This is the channel you want to be in to basically snipe any secret dungeon possible. But yeah, anyway, so let's go back to the team. So when it comes to the normal, this is the team I use. Now, if you don't have Ch uh, Charlotte, yeah, it's Charlotte. If you don't have Charlotte, that's fine. To be quite honest, what you could also use, what you could use. Lucian, no, because you need to get it. But what's like another free to play? Well, Lapis, actually, I actually use also Lapis. Uh, I don't even know why I thought about it. But yeah, normal one, I, I did it like that. That was my team. Sometimes I switched, uh, what, Fran? No, Lauren. Sometimes I switched Lauren for Fran. Sometimes I switched, uh, I don't know, the Verde heal, whatever. Basically, with this team, you won't really ever need a healer. Why? Because you're gonna control every single unit. Basically, with Lauren, with her S1, her first spell, or even her second spell, or I think it's the passive, it's basically the passive. <laughs> As you can see, I'm a complete noob. Like, don't ask me the names, etc. I'm a complete noob, but... When it comes to Lauren, she will basically help you to control a lot of units. She also strips a positive effect. So if you have monsters that have damage immunity, which you will have, and those are very annoying when you have this kind of team, because basically they will never play. So technically they will never get rid of their immunity. You want to have this strip from Lauren. It's very helpful. Veromos the same, he will basically stun with his second spell. Veromos is the first uh it's the first monster I use all my devil mons on because I knew I will use him a lot. I even use him in DB2 uh, DB12, Dragon 12, Giant 12. So I knew investing devil mons into him won't be a waste. But yeah, obviously, he either stands, and if he doesn't stand, he reduces the ATB, the speed of the monsters, not the speed, the, the, the speed bar. Uh, she also reduces the speed bar with her S1 and S3. 
uh, she also reduces the speed bar with her S2 or even S1. Basically, it's very easy to do TOA normal and it's also easy to do TOE hard because simply with this team, the opponent will never play. And well, not only the monsters, well, obviously those specific monsters are helping you to reduce the speed of the other monsters. But what you can also do, what I did, is to basically use on every single, no, okay, not every single champion, but what you can do is to use the Desper runes. Where is it? Desper runes. So you can use those as well. So not only you'll have a chance to reduce the attack speed bar of the enemies, you'll also get a chance to stun them every time you attack them. And since you're already playing a very high accuracy on your champions, because obviously all you want to do is to reduce the, uh, the speed bar of your enemies, so you're gonna need accuracy for it, and that's it. You're gonna put a lot of poisons. Eventually, if the enemies play, they will die from the poisons, but you will they, they should not play. Now the only problem with this, it took me a week to do TOA normal and hard, simply because it just takes, I don't know, 20 minutes per level, especially in TOA hard. The enemies never play. You're gonna hit maybe for like, I don't know, 1k per hit. So it takes forever to kill a mob. You're gonna have three ways per level. So the problem was in terms of TOA hard, it's not that I cannot pass it. It's just the time limitation for it. And it was very scary, but I succeeded. Uh, when it comes to Verde heal, he was my second unit that I used the devil mons on. Again, Verde heal, you're gonna have three Karu. You're gonna have a lot of dungeons that you're gonna need him. Yes, you can wait till you get copies of him, etc. But I just wanted to do more damage. Now him, I basically play on crit rate and some attack. As the enemies will not play or should not play, uh, you don't have to care about HP. You can go full damage with Verde Hill. You don't want revenge because again, you should not get hit. And yeah, that's it. So basically, let me just put some random runes on them. Uh, if I do this, they would give me the despair or not? No, of course you don't give me despair. Uh, so yeah, let's just put some random despair runes on it. Uh, with accuracy, so we're gonna boom, boom, this, this, whatever. It honestly doesn't matter, you just want to have, there you go, 100% accuracy. We have despair, that's it, that's all we need there. So that's it. He has runes. You can also put Despair on him. Personally, right now he's on a tanky set with a lot of accuracy. But when I played him for TOA hard, I played him attack, crit rate, attack with a lot of accuracy. Because again, you will not get hit or you should not get hit. So you basically want to have, well, a lot of damage. Uh, Lapis, you can just play with the set they give you from the beginning. It doesn't matter. Uh, Lauren, you can just play her 100% accuracy with HP, speed, whatever. And yeah, let's go. Let's go into the fight. So I even have Veramos not on. Uh, I don't have Veramos on damage, so it might take a bit longer. But I just want you to show how does it work. So we're gonna jump in. Boom, boom, boom. We stun. There you go. Then we re go with Verde Hill, though. Violent set is the best, so he can proc. But as you can see, they're already stunned. They don't have, like, no one. If, even if they play, you basically just make sure to control them one by one so no one hits you. I don't advise to do it on automatic. Uh, but yeah, normal is very, uh, very easy. Um, I'm telling you, you're going to go through it very quickly without any problem. Boom. You can see he's going quick. I know. I don't understand. You control the ATB. And basically, the monsters will never play. So again, that's 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 basically it. Just the monsters you're going to use will basically make it impossible not to pass it. The only problem again is the time and how long it will take you to do some stages, especially in TOA hard. Uh, okay, this stage was actually a little bit annoying if I'm not mistaken. Uh, we are not going to stun here yet. Uh, we don't need to stun here yet, right? No. So this stage was... Ac okay, uh, why did I hit the water map? This stage was actually annoying in TOA hard because of the monsters after. 
but yeah basically you, you see what i mean like they will never play you just make sure to take your time hit the correct champions make sure they're always stunned that no one has enough of speed to basically cut you in and attack you before you do something and yeah they just never play and you just kill them before they can do anything that's that's how i did uh, all the toa and it's the same for TOA hard. Now sometimes, like I said, you're gonna switch between, for example, uh, Lapis and Fran, or you won't need Verde heal because there are only water monsters, so you're gonna bring Lapis, but you're also gonna have Fran. So basically I used seven units, no, six units, six units. I used uh, all those units that you can see right now, plus sometimes I used Fran. Uh, I also obviously had Charlotte so I was also using Charlotte because her, her S3 is completely broken in TOA hard she just resets the ATB of all your enemies boosts your ATB as well and then her S2 just is a must stun so she's also great so I was using Charlotte Lapis Melissa Melina Verde Hill Veramos and Lauren and Fran but I think already said it right so yeah, basically that's it. You're just gonna try to control them all. You're gonna put the poison so you can also uh, basically make sure that if are, they are going about to play, uh, they just die from the poisons. And yeah, I mean, on normal you can actually automate it, like to be quite honest. It's more about hard stage where you're actually gonna have to go one by one. But yeah, I will, I will quickly show you hard stage as well, just, just, so, you, just so you understand the vibe but like i said now there are some specific stages that you will actually need specific monsters for example in toa hard i don't remember which stage it was 91 yeah so you're gonna have this guy antares his passive will completely destroy this team so what i did for that specific stage if i'm not mistaken i took out lapis and i played Char uh, charlotte no christina you can play any basic team on, uh, monster that has Oblivion. You will have to have Oblivion to basically go against Antares. And once you put uh, Oblivion on Antares, again, you just control all the monsters and you don't care. Now, if you don't have her, don't worry. There is multiple monsters that have this effect. And to be quite honest, I went on an actual Twitch stream and asked some random streamer to tell me how can I counter Antares because I didn't know Oblivion existed. So you go here, Oblivion, and you can basically choose whatever you have, right? Like, okay, light and dark, no. But if you don't have any of those, uh, well, I don't know how you can pass it, to be quite honest. You, for my, from my experience and the hours I spent, you're gonna need Oblivion. Uh, but yeah, the runes, so yeah, Lapis, basically the set they give you, Verde Hill, some crit rate set, and if you can, you can put a Violent set on him. Uh, her Despair set that you get as well for free from the beginner quest. Uh, Lauren, beginner quest, I think, runes as well. Run, uh, some random runes that you got from the event, etc. Vera most just speed HP. The most important sets will be the despair on the uh, on the Melia. And if you have something like Charlotte, because again I used Charlotte, I got her from the event, the nine years event where they offered offered you like seven or eight five stars, and you had to choose one. So I took her simply because I knew she will be broken in TOA hard. And yeah, I abused her third skill that basically reduces the attack bar of all the enemies. And yeah, that's how you basically pass any stage you want. Let's go into hard. I don't know. Uh, eh, let's go higher. 93. Yeah, whatever. Let's just try this one. Again, I'll just show you. Quick. I don't want to make this video too long. Uh, so I'm guessing this is the stage where I would switch Mel Melina for something else. Since she's earth, she won't be really landing a lot. Uh, okay. And uh, yeah, we are home again. You just need to make sure you look at the blue bars and you just make sure to always attack the one who getting the closer to actually act and you try basically to control them uh violent on lauren is obviously gonna help you a lot because whenever she procs uh 
she will basically make sure to control like she destroys the attack bar of enemies veramos why i also skilled him up well not only as i told you because i just use him everywhere is to have his second spell cooldown reduced because uh it just helps you so much but you can see lauren on violent and it's just insane and obviously it's toa hard it's not a content that you know you go once you die and that's it there are stages that i tried for hours so that's why i told you from the beginning the biggest enemy in toa hard and normal it's not the monsters or the runes because right now the game gives you everything you need it's just the time and since i started like i said i think 11 or 12 days before the end of toa that was my biggest challenge and yeah that's that's how it goes i mean you just control the units make sure no one plays put the poisons everywhere to eventually let them play and just kill them faster but it just takes forever that's the only problem with this it just takes forever but i think you get the drill let me just go to the stage two and yeah it should be good um, let me know in the, uh, in the comments if you have any other questions or if you more, need more explanations. But again, I just think QA normal and hard. It's with, If you follow the beginner quest, you obtain all the runes, all the monsters from the quest. You do your fusions. You just have literally no excuse not to pass QA hard or normal. Now, hell is another story. I didn't even try it. I didn't even care about it. I will try it next month, which is basically 19 hours. The reset happens in 19 hours. So I will do it then. And yeah, that's it. That's that's basically it. Yeah. Uh, let me just kill this so I can see what were the monsters after that. But yeah, like I said, Mel Melia, Melina, Melia was maybe not the best choice. Like, uh, because obviously against fire units, you're going to have a hard, harsh time to land everything those two and yeah this one is actually super easy yeah, i mean you just again you just control everyone make sure no one plays and yeah it just takes forever but at least it makes you you will make sure to finish those stages anyway guys i will see you in the next video again let me know if you need help with anything i'm more than happy to help you i read it i'm pretty sure there's a guide for everything already on the internet on youtube there's plenty of people who did plenty of videos and i to be honest i watched them all when i before i started just to make sure i'm ready and i know where to invest not to make any mistakes but yeah that's it anyway guys i'll see you in the next video make sure to like follow and subscribe it was your boy troll ciao